Hey everyone, welcome back to EEC Extra. It's Nick again, and today I have the pleasure and honor of reacting to one of the Melody Festival finalists. She came through Andra Shansen last week and is now really a threat in all the charts and airplay. So, um, of course, I'm talking about Clara Klingenström and her entry, Behoeve in today, Edo. Um, before we start with the song, uh, please click the subscribe button below if you want to see more of our videos. Uh, if you want to be the first one to watch our videos, click the little bell to get notifications for whenever we do a new video. And if you like this one, then give us a big old thumbs up. Now, without any further ado, I'm going to dive in and listen to the perfect thing today, EDOP. <laughs> So it's a simple guitar start, and you see Clara with her guitar, simple dress, simple lights, simple staging, nice colors. This sounds like it could be really promising. And I'm getting these Caroline of Oglas vibes. You know, she did Melfest in 2009 with Snella Snella. Um, and this could really be interesting, I think. Okay, so here the chorus hits, and you immediately get the feeling, okay, I need to pay attention to this, because we're getting this Caroline of Oglas vibe, but we're also getting a sort of Mariette vibe, but in Swedish. And I'm really, really interested in, in, to see what this is gonna be. Okay, so when the second chorus hits, uh, I have to compliment her on her voice. That vocal is just really powerful. And it's not that she has a really big range that she works with. She has a small range, but she makes it sound so delicate and so wonderful. I am all over this. I love it. There's something really captivating about this simple yet elegant performance combined with the vocal, the Swedish lyrics. Um, this is just really, really good. I'm going to say it. I would not be surprised to see this top three in televoting in the Melfest final, I think the Swedes could really go for this and I would compliment them for their choice. So yeah, that was Behöver in today Idot by Clara Klingenström. Um, I must say I was really upset when she got through Andra Schansen because, you know, I was a big fan of Lena Romelino. But she deserves her spot in the final. And I am all for seeing this at Eurovision. But let's have a look at what my EC Extra colleagues think. So without any further ado, let's listen to them. I'm so happy for Clara. She really deserves all the success she's receiving. And she released always good music. Check that out, by the way. And yeah, I'm so happy for her that she made the final. She's, it's so deserved. She's such a great personality. Her song is so good. And yeah, I'm so happy for her. Can't wait to see her in the final. And can't wait to see what she's coming up with after the show because now people finally discovered her and listened to her music and yeah, it's so deserved, so happy. This song was a kind of entry uh, most people didn't pay enough attention to but for me it was a really uh, nice and beautiful entry to choose from and uh, okay, I don't understand Swedish but I uh, got sort of some sort of emotions coming through this song. Probably I just found something personal in it. Uh, and um, I actually really happy it qualified to the Melfast final. Okay, you know what? In the beginning, I didn't really connect with Clara's track. And then the more I listened to it, the more I got drawn in. And it somehow made its way on my on repeat playlist. But I will say this, it is a nice and simplistic track. She's a lovely person. She kind of reminds me of a younger Frida Ern. Take it as a good compliment. But you know what? I think we'll hear more from her after her participation this year. But for now, I'm going to put her song on repeat. So now we know, we know what the EC Extra team think of the Herva in Today Edog by Clara Klingenstam. Um, if you want to let us know what you think, we would, of course, really appreciate that. So make sure you comment below to tell us what you think about uh, the Herbert on today, e Um All that rests for me is to thank you for watching this video and to tell you, see you soon. Bye-bye.